now on Coast TV News. It's been the honor of my lifetime to serve as your president. I love the job, but I love my country more. I love my country more. Biden's night at the DNC, the president highlights his accomplishments as his party to move on. And we're saying so long to the humidity and the storms from last night and hello to sunshine and comfortable temperatures. I'll have the latest on a taste of fall and how long it will stick around Delmarva in my full forecast just ahead. Dealing with dune damage, we update the work being done there to repair the breach near the Indian River Inlet. Waiting on weed license. That's what a number of businesses in Delaware are doing as the application process opens for future marijuana shops. This is Coast TV News Today. It is Tuesday, August 20th, 2024. Good morning. I'm Matt Pensick and Paige Marley is off today. Welcome to our six o'clock hour. First alert meteorologist Chris Masturbano is in for Bob Trahi. Chris joins us now with a look at the forecast. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Matt. A pleasant good morning to you, Delmarva. We are seeing clouds beginning to thin out across the peninsula after we had those drenching thunderstorms last night. You can see relatively dry back off to the west. In fact, high pressure is going to be building into the area, and we're going to be quiet for the next few days as we see plenty of sunshine. Here's a live look from Dover. Beautiful skies there. 63 degrees, dew point 55. Remember yesterday at this time, we saw dew points in the 70s. We aren't going to see those anymore, all thanks to that northwesterly flow. Right now, we're at 64 in Seaford. We're seeing 66 in Bethany Beach, 67 Ocean City, 65 in Lewis. As I mentioned, those dew points are continuing to crash upper 50s to low 60s, and we're going to continue to see that drier air filter into the area, all thanks to that northwesterly flow winds anywhere from 10 to 20 miles an hour. So we say so long to the humidity. Now, we are still dealing with a rip current risk. Moderate today. We were at a high yesterday. Seas beginning to relax sunny day and uh, we're going to see quite a bit of that sunshine over the next few days as uh, temperatures only get into the 70s overnight lows in the 50s so temperatures right now low 60s we're up to about 68 at around 10 we'll see 71 and around noon topping out in the mid to upper 70s across the peninsula today. We'll talk more about the sunshine the beautiful weather ahead and my full seven day forecast in just a few minutes. All right, thank you, Chris. I work on a breach of the sand dunes near the Indian River Inlet Bridge. That breach occurred Sunday night, forced that area of coastal highway to close for several hours. Again, this is at the Delaware Seashore State Park. Flooding on the north side of the bridge, that has been a problem for years, and we saw a similar scene in late March. So we went to the state park to get a firsthand look at what the situation was like. One local fisherman Coast TV talked to says he is shocked to see this much damage by a passing storm. It, it's amazing that um, just this little bit, you know, can stir up uh, that side of the road for some reason. There's, there's something going on in that area. Um, it's been happening most of the summer. And then the lull between high tides, Denrec and Delvot, they've been hard at work using that window to try and put a makeshift fix in place. Let's bring us to our Coast TV poll. We want to know what is your biggest concern with flooding on our roadway. So let's take a look at the updated results. 41% of you are saying the emergency service delays that can occur. 26% say evacuation routes. We also have votes for global warming, increasing and longer travel times. If you haven't voted yet, you can still do so at coasttvnews.com or our mobile app. Taking a live look now at Chicago as it awaits day two of the Democratic National Convention. It's just after five in the morning there, just a couple hours ago, President Joe Biden closed out day one with a speech. Start of the convention comes nearly a month after Biden announced the end of his bid for re-election. And Brian Abel shows us how the goal on Monday was to make a smooth transition to his vice president. Are you ready to elect Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz? In the first night of the Democratic National Convention, President Joe Biden energizing Democrats in Chicago and passing the torch to his vice president and his party's nominee, Kamala Harris. Democracy has delivered. And now democracy must be preserved. The DNC crowd erupting as Harris herself surprised many with an onstage appearance. Joe, thank you for your historic leadership, for your lifetime of service to our nation. First Lady Jill Biden calling on those who support her husband to
to back Harris. Joe and I know Kamala. We have seen her courage, her determination, and her leadership up close. The first female nominee of a major political party, Hillary Clinton, addressing the proverbial glass ceiling she herself failed to fully shatter. On the other side of that glass ceiling is Kamala Harris raising her hand and taking the oath of office as our 47th president of the United States. Meanwhile, Republican nominee and former president Donald Trump in battleground Pennsylvania. Kamala Harris is an economy wrecker and a country destroyer. Now the DNC continues to day two with headliner former President Barack Obama. In Washington, Brian Abel reporting. And NBC News will provide extensive on-the-ground reporting and special primetime coverage from Chicago's United Center during the 2024 Democratic National Convention. Lester Holt and Savannah Guthrie will anchor decision 2024. Special primetime coverage tonight, 10 to 11, also 9 to 11 p.m. on Wednesday and Thursday. Happening tonight, a focus on open spaces in Milton. The town's Parks and Recreation Committee could decide to send its plan to town council for approval. Part of this is taking an inventory of parks like here, Memorial Park, and other open spaces. Town officials say the goal is the preservation of those open spaces. We have an update on a tragic accident in Seaford. Delaware State Police have identified the three-year-old child who died in a bicycle crash on August 15th as was Iris Tovar. Three-year-old was hit by a Toyota Tacoma that was turning on North Parkway Road. Tovar was taken to an area hospital and later passed away. We have developing news in Worcester County. A Berlin woman facing 90 charges relating to child abuse and second-degree assault appeared in court on Tuesday. Now, this was supposed to be the start of a seven-day trial, but instead, the ward entered a guilty plea. In November 2023, the Worcester County Sheriff's Office and Child Protective Services were notified that an eight-month-old had been admitted to Atlantic General Hospital with a broken tibia. The online application for recreational marijuana businesses in Delaware now underway. The Office of the Marijuana Commissioner tells us over 120 licenses are up for grabs, but get this, the office is expecting about 500 applications. The licenses will be broken into categories, including manufacturing, cultivation, and retail. All the qualified applicants will be entered into a lottery. And if you're applying, you will need a comprehensive business plan and plans for safety and security. Coast TV spoke with a business owner in Robot Beach who was hoping to be one of those lottery winners. I was a little surprised to see the two week earlier uh, application uh, date, um, which is great, um, but it really definitely sets the wheels in motion and uh, solidifies the, all right, it's go time. The application period opened up two weeks ahead of schedule and it closes on September 30th. Legendary talk show host Phil Donahue has died at the age of 88. In a statement to People and NBC News, his family says he died Sunday following a long illness. Donahue was surrounded by family, including his wife of 44 years. Donahue pioneered a new format for daytime television as the host of the Phil Donahue Show from 1967 to 1996. He's also referred to as the king of daytime talk. And in May, President Joe Biden awarded him the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Now, for some of us, there are still several weeks of summer left. For others, they're getting the sign that summer's nearing an end. Here's one of them. On Monday, the Seaford School District welcomed back its staff members. The teachers will be getting ready for the school year and doing a bit of professional development. Students have one week of summer left. Pre-K through ninth grade will begin classes next Monday, August 26th. And the first full day for all students is next Tuesday, the 27th. We're just getting started in this hour of Coast TV News today. Coming up, Beach Patrol Battles. We look at the number of rescues made in Ocean City on Monday. Also, eyeing eagles, plans at the Botanic Gardens for expanded bird watching, and air show alert, the changes in traffic expected this weekend for the OC Air Show. Coast TV News today is back after this. Accurate termite and pest control. Our professional pest management program includes year-round protection, four seasonal visits or more, and pest-free peace of mind. 
locally owned and operated accurate termite and pest control on target since 1995. Many parents assume that the vision screening at the pediatrician's office is all that's required. While vision screening is an important first step, it's not the same as a comprehensive eye exam. There are some serious eye diseases that are not detected in a regular screening. The American Optometric Association advises that the first eye exam be at the age of three. Dr. Tracy Boss is accepting new patients, including pediatrics, at Chesapeake Eye Centers in Salisbury and Berlin. For more about Chesapeake Eye, visit DelmarvaExperts.com. Celebrate Labor Day weekend with Camp Rehoboth Community Center at Sun Festival 2024 in Rehoboth Beach. On August 31st, enjoy a night of comedy with stand-up comedian Joe Dombrowski. He looked at me and he goes, ma'am, uh... <laughs> Okay, that laugh was a hate crime. <laughs> then on September 1st, dance the night away with DJs Robbie Leslie and Joe Gothrow. Don't miss the summer's biggest party at the Rehoboth Beach Convention Center. Get your tickets at camperhoboth.org. Sponsored by Coast TV. Your child deserves the best. When your child is sick, every moment counts. And the team at Title Health Pediatrics understands the urgency of such situations. Whether it's a sudden fever, a troubling cough, or another pediatric ailment, your child will be seen when they need it most. Schedule your child's appointment now at titlehealth.org slash find a pediatrician or call 410-912-5785 because your child's health is our top priority. Title Health Pediatrics, compassionate care when you need it most. Accurate termite and pest control. A new season is coming and so are the pests. They want in. Trust Accurate to keep them out year round. Locally owned and operated Accurate termite and pest control on target since 1995. Good Tuesday morning, Delmarva. Sunrise coming up at 6.20. Live look from our Boardwalk Plaza Hotel Cam and Rehoboth Beach. Some folks there on the beach. Yeah, something about the beach in the morning. That, that cool sand at your feet. Some uh, waves crashing there and seeing a temperature 65 degrees. Dew point 60. Winds out of the northwest. So we are seeing those humidity levels crash across the area. We're at 66 in Bethany Beach, 67 Ocean City, 63 Georgetown, and 63 in Salisbury. There's those winds gusting as especially at the coast, anywhere from 10 to 20 miles an hour. Plenty of sunshine today, UV index at a nine. So burn time's coming in at 20 minutes. Don't forget the shades. And if you're heading out to the course here over the next few hours, temperature 64 to start. We're going to top out in the mid to upper 70s under mostly sunny skies. And you can get that weather forecast at any time by calling 443-880-9100. I'll have your latest and full seven day forecast in a couple minutes. A heads up, if you plan on being in Ocean City this upcoming weekend, a travel advisory has been issued. This is related to the OC Air Show. You can expect heavy traffic delays in the downtown area and some road closures. This all takes effect August 23rd, 12th through 20th Street. That'll be closed and barricaded off. That's going to last through Sunday the 25th. A few roads will stay closed into Monday. Parking is going to be tight here, and the Ocean City buses will be running from 6 a.m. until 3 a.m. and ride all day passes. That is $4. Dewey Beach looking to make some safety upgrades, specifically upgrades that will keep pedestrians out of harm's way. They now have a survey you can reply to on the town's website. Results will be shared with the town manager and town council. Town has already done a lot of work about this. They've lowered the speed limits on Coastal Highway. They put in road markings. They even have those warning signs at crosswalks that we just saw. The town is also requesting Del Dot to lower those flashing yellow beacons so they can be more visible to drivers. And they will be removing some trees from the center island so it's easier to see people crossing the road. New survey data release shows Americans starting to feel increasingly worried about losing their jobs. Federal Reserve Bank of New York's latest survey on consumer labor market experiences, expectations, showed ages, uh, benefits, satisfaction. They all sank in July. It also found the average expected likelihood of becoming unemployed rose to 4.4%. That's the highest on record for the survey, which was started 10 years ago. It's a common trend these days. People often like to scroll through a bunch of videos on YouTube or TikTok. New research shows skipping around a lot or going backwards or forwards on the same video actually makes people more bored. Researchers at the University of Toronto performed two experiments on about 1,200 people and the study found participants who watched the video straight through felt more engaged and satisfied than skipping around. 
Coming up, rising water rescue. How people trapped in that building were taken to safety. Also, Wilderness Watch, the plans to view bald eagles at the Botanic Gardens. Well, if you're starting your morning a little sweet with the chocolate frosted donut, we are going to see plenty of sunshine. Temperatures starting out in the lower 60s, rising into the mid to upper 70s this afternoon under plenty of sunshine. And in fact, we're going to see a lot of sunshine in that extended forecast, and I'll have it for you next when Coast TV News Today continues. Del Marva's hit music station, 1025 WBOC. Hot tub, hot tub, hot tub. Millions of dollars of Factory Direct 2024 inventory. Today and tomorrow, Wicomico Civic Center. Hundreds of hot tubs and swim spas ready for immediate delivery. Factory Direct prices, many models to choose from. Come see the revolutionary swim spa and save thousands. Trade ins welcome. We'll even haul away your old hot tub. 18 month interest free financing. New 2024 inventory. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. Wicomico Civic Center. Free admission, free parking. Call 855 Spa Sale. Carrington Raceway and Casino and Bet Rivers have come together to give you Delaware's must play online casino and sports book, featuring hundreds of exciting slots and table games. Plus, with non stop sports betting action, you'll know you're where winners play. Sign up now and we'll cover 24 hours of casino losses up to $250, or get a second chance sports bet up to $250. Bet Rivers and Harrington Raceway and Casino, it's where winners play. Download the app today. When Roe v. Wade fell, we all got mad. Matt Meyer got to work. Securing county funds for the first state abortion fund. So women can get reproductive care here in Delaware. Matt went to work protecting kids from gun violence too. Reducing shootings almost 50%. As Matt's wife, I'm incredibly proud. As an emergency room doctor, I see the difference he's making. Matt will be a great governor because he doesn't just talk, he's walking the walk. The weather is brought to you by Spicer Brothers Construction. Born here to serve here. Transform your bath today with baths by Spicer Brothers. Call now and ask about our Refresh for Less promotion and get a new bath or shower for only $69.95. Plus, get 20% off all upgrades. Imagine stepping into a beautifully renovated bath designed by our experts and installed by our certified professionals. This offer is hotter than a sauna and won't last forever. So don't miss out on our Refresh for Less promotion for just $69.95 with 20% off all upgrades. Before you sign, keep Bath by Spicer Brothers in mind because you deserve the best. Time is 617 and you're looking high above Laurel. We can still see some of that cloud cover there. Chris, you did promise that we will have blue skies and sunshine for most of the day. I am holding you to that. Oh. You can, you can, we will. Uh, just uh, seeing a few of uh, those high clouds uh, pass through uh, the peninsula at this hour. Right now we are at 65 in Rehoboth, 63 Milton, 62 in Seaford, and 63 in Salisbury. So it is a pleasant dry start after we had those thunderstorms last night. But check this out, dew points are getting into the 50s. So that is a good sign. And you see those northwest winds anywhere from 10 to 20 miles an hour. So be a bit breezy this afternoon. There you see some of those high clouds pushing off the coast in Lewis. 64 degrees, the dew point 58, so a comfortable start to our Tuesday. And then you can see some of those clouds over Laurel beginning to thin out. We are clear sailing back off to the west. Not a whole lot going on. You can see we are dry from Chicago, St. Louis to Memphis, all thanks to a dome of high pressure. So if you are heading out to town, maybe heading to Philly International or DWI, we are seeing green airplanes here, which means minor to no delays throughout much of the eastern half of the country. No big storms to contend with. So we are looking pretty good as far as travel is concerned throughout the eastern half of the country. Mugginess, well, that's not going to be a thing for us here for the next few days. We're going to be very comfortable. In fact, we may not be dealing with humidity until the latter part of the weekend. We're at 75 this afternoon in Milford. We'll see a high of 73. Rehoboth Beach, 75 in Cambridge. As I mentioned, winds anywhere from 10 to 20 miles an hour at times, and we'll see 77 in Chicoteague. Clear sailing this afternoon. We'll see that northwesterly flow continue. By Wednesday morning, we are in the low to mid 50s. Wednesday afternoon, continued sunshine back up into mid to upper 70s, and we'll see the 50s by 
Thursday morning as well, and sunny skies continuing into Thursday. So at the coast, we're in the 70s, low 70s there in Assateague. A minor risk of rip currents today, moderate today, but we are going to see a lower risk by Wednesday into Thursday. So that is a good sign as the coast has just been pummeled by that wave action. 78 tomorrow in Lewis, and we'll see 75 in Rehoboth Beach. As I mentioned, wave action two to three feet today, but then we'll see more of the uh, one to three foot variety over the next few days. 76 this afternoon, so long to the humidity, 54. Maybe open the windows, give the air conditioner a break tonight. 75 for your Wednesday, wall-to-wall -wall sunshine. And there's a look at the Climate Prediction Center from the 25th to the 29th, well above average temperatures for much of the eastern half of the country. I think we're going to see the return of 90s here in this extended forecast. Drier, though, than average throughout that period, so no rain expected here over the next seven days. And you see temperatures get back into the 80s for the weekend. We are looking nice and dry for the weekend. And there you see the 90s making a return at the end of that seven-day forecast. Thank you, Chris. Delaware's Botanic Gardens are known for their natural beauty. And as you walk through the woods of the gardens, you might find that you're just a few steps away and feet under a bald eagle's nest. Stephen Price Lee says the support for a soon-to-be eagle cam has been soaring, raising $80,000 for its installation. So the eagles uh, fledged the nest at around the end of July, early August. This year we had two quite large fledglings leave along around the same time as their parents. And we do want to note the Eagle Cam will only be installed in a specific window when it will not disturb the birds. We do have more information on this on our website, coasttv.com. Still ahead, turbulent tides in OC, dozens rescued as the beach patrol there deals with some dangerous waters. How about these dangerous waters? We show you the flood that forced a flea from that building. Coast TV News Today returns in a moment. The UV Index Weather Report is sponsored by Ocean City Tourism. Somewhere to smile about. Audience, you ready? What we just saw, we've never seen before. That is what a live performance is all about. You're going to be a superstar. EGT Live, tonight on NBC and Peacock. The Democratic National Convention. Vice President Kamala Harris and Governor Tim Walz lay out their vision for the country. Join Lester Holt, Savannah Guthrie, and the NBC News team for special coverage tonight on NBC. At the Delmarva Design Center, appliances, cabinetry, countertops, tile, and flooring come together in one showroom. We have specialists in each division like myself and cabinetry to ensure that you have the best product to fit your needs. And your selection fits seamlessly with every element of your project. It was very important to find somebody that was knowledgeable in the whole picture, the cabinetry, the appliances, and the countertop. We are delighted with the outcome. Delmarva Design Center. Great design starts with great inspiration. Selbyville, Delaware. Celebrate Labor Day weekend with Camp Rehoboth Community Center at Sun Festival 2024 in Rehoboth Beach. On August 31st, enjoy a night of comedy with stand-up comedian Joe Dombrowski. He looked at me and he goes, ma'am, uh... <laughs> Okay, that laugh was a hate crime. <laughs> then on September 1st, dance the night away with DJs Robbie Leslie and Joe Gothrow. Don't miss the summer's biggest party at the Rehoboth Beach Convention Center. Get your tickets at camprehoboth.org. Sponsored by Coast TV. I've been thinking about renovating my garage floor. And suddenly, I'm seeing signs everywhere. The universe keeps hinting, even at my local gas company. Pinnacle concrete is everywhere. And again, multiple signs at the print store. The signs are too strong to ignore. It's time to call. With so many options, my dream is taking shape. And now, I'm not just seeing signs, I'm living proof. Pinnacle Concrete Coatings, because quality matters. More than a dozen people and one dog were rescued from a flooded restaurant in nearby home in Connecticut on Sunday. Now, firefighters rescued the people from the Brookside Inn. This is video that we just got yesterday from the restaurant and then there was also an adjacent home. A crew was staged near the restaurant when it was reported that flood water was rising and there were concerns about the restaurant structure being compromised. There are 18 people inside there. Firefighters helped all the people walk up the aerial ladder. One person was carried up the ladder from a Stokes basket. 
Along our coast, the tropical storm activity churning up the waters of the Atlantic Ocean. And on Monday, the Ocean City Beach Patrol says it made 78 rescues, 78 of them. The patrol is on the beaches 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. during its season. It's a season that ends on September 22nd. They do warn that swimming when lifeguards are off duty is dangerous. First alert meteorologist Chris Mastrobono is back with us. And Chris, we've been talking about this. It feels like going back to the weekend that these riptides still here, they're, they're still a concern. Yeah, that's right, Matt. And we're going to see a moderate risk today. Seas are slowly beginning to calm, which is a good sign. And, you know, that Ernesto is some six. 800 miles away from the coast, yet still feeling those indirect effects. Waking up this morning in Cambridge, we are seeing a bit of cloud cover there, but we will see mostly sunny skies by the afternoon. A mix of sun and clouds for Chris Field, and then we're going to be up to 74 this afternoon. Lower humidity, so a gorgeous afternoon to say the least. And then at the coast, we have that moderate risk of rip currents. As I mentioned, wave heights two to three feet. 65 degrees start in Lewis and Rehoboth, and we are going to top out in the mid 70s. So a gorgeous afternoon with winds out of the northwest, lower humidity, which is going to be the case over the next few days. And we'll have a look at that extended forecast here in just a little bit. Coming up, cheers for Biden. The president closes out day one of the Democratic National Convention as the rival ticket counters his claims. Also, Milton Park plan, the proposal to preserve open spaces near the banks of the Broadkill River and battling the breach, work being done to repair damaged dunes and have all lanes of coastal highway reopened. That and more when Coast TV News Today returns. Right now, during the Subaru A Lot to Love event at Gateway Subaru, we're offering incredible savings. Save up to $3,000 on a new 2024 Subaru Outback. Plus, take advantage of great financing rates as low as 0% for 48 months. Feel the thrill and save up to $2,400 off a new 2024 Subaru Crosstrek with financing rates as low as 2.9% for 48 months. And stop by to discover the all-new 2025 Subaru Forester. Gateway Subaru, just minutes from the beaches in the heart of Delmarva. Higher standards. Shop, play, learn, explore at the OC RV and Van Lifestyle Show, the premier gathering for RV enthusiasts and outdoor lovers. From October 31st to November 3rd, the Ocean City Convention Center transforms into a hub of excitement and exploration. With RVs, custom vans, e-bike, golf cart, and boat test ride zones, seminars, water sports, power sports, and a wide selection of the latest gear, you'll find everything you need to enhance your next adventure. Enjoy BMX and skateboarding competitions, tiki boat cruises, and more. Buy tickets and explore with us at OCRVshow.com. Delaware Electric Cooperative is proud to power Central and Southern Delaware. We power local artists creating masterpieces inspired by nature, eateries with roots that run deep in our communities, and business owners helping other entrepreneurs succeed. We serve a new orchestra founded by co-op members and a new library built to better serve Harrington families. We're inspired by the stories of our friends and neighbors, and it's for these people and places that DEC is committed to keeping the lights on. Introducing Paisano, the authentic pizza oven by Granite Stone. Now make the world's most delicious pizza with real stone right in your own home. Mm. You simply set it and let it make golden, crispy, extra cheesy stone-baked pies in under six minutes. You can get your Paisano pizza oven for just three easy payments of $39.99. Plus, we'll ship your entire order free. Call 1-800-608-5198 or order online at buypaisano.com. Now on Coach TV News. Overcoming ocean obstacles, that is what is being faced as repairs to the dunes near the Indian River Inlet continue. And a breath of fresh air is arriving across the Delmarva Peninsula. I'm tracking sunshine, comfortable temperatures. I'll let you know how long this taste of fall will stick around in my full forecast just ahead. Burning tire trouble. This massive fire in Mississippi, it is still ongoing challenges Delta Cruz attempting to put it out. Day one at DNC it was capped by Democrats in attendance showing appreciation for President Biden. This is Coast TV News Today. August 20th, 2024. Good morning, everybody. I'm Matt Pensick. Paige Marley has the day off. Time is 628 on this Tuesday morning and first alert meteorologist Chris Masturbono is in for Bob Trihe. We're going to lead off with Chris. He joins us now to help you prepare as you make your way out the door. Good morning, Chris. 
Good morning there, Matt. Yeah, we are seeing some beautiful conditions to start after we had the drenching downpours last night. We're seeing generally clear conditions, just a few high clouds here off to the west across Laurel and the eastern shore. But there you see the front from last night pushing off the coast. A lot of dry air filtering into the eastern half of the country, all thanks to higher pressure. You can see we are very clear throughout much of the Great Lakes, Ohio Valley and Mississippi Valleys. There is a look at Dover. Clear skies there, just a thin veil of clouds there, 63 degrees. 55 degree dew point that is very comfortable all thanks to that north wind at about eight miles an hour 65 Rehoboth 64 Lewis we're at 64 Millsboro and 63 in Salisbury dew points this time yesterday were in the 70s we're in the 50s and falling so that is a good sign and a good sign of things to come here over the next few days in fact as I mentioned it is a breath of fresh air fall like air mass some of the coolest air we've seen in months we still do have a moderate risk of rip currents, could see waves as high as two to three feet, so continue using caution. And there you see highs in the 70s, overnight lows in the 50s. There you see the clear skies through the afternoon. Temperatures only getting into the mid to upper 70s. We'll stay in the low to mid 70s at the coast, but a gorgeous afternoon to say the least, so you will need the sunglasses by the afternoon time frame. I'll talk about how long this dry, cool weather is going to stick around Delmarva in my full forecast in, in a few minutes. Matt? And as Chris, you just said, we we're expecting a calm day. There were some recent conditions that were not calm, and that led to the flooding that you see here on the screen near the Indian River Inlet. Coast TV News reporter Kevin Zappay has been following this story. Waves washing right up next to the highway, the fallout of an overnight storm. This road was completely flooded, shutting down the Indian River Inlet Bridge. For local fisherman Doug Grossman, it was shocking. I didn't expect this at all. I expected to see more current. Uh, usually the current in here flows pretty good. Flooding on the north side of the Indian River Inlet Bridge has been a problem for years. The sand is constantly eroding, and the clock on solving this problem is ticking. As of right now, Denrec has been placing rocks and other material along the highway to help stop the waves from crashing on the roadways during high tide. I sat down with C.R. McLeod, who is the Director of Community Relations for DelDot, and he explains the biggest fear when it comes to this type of flooding. Key factors that we're all you know, primarily concerned about is emergency access. Uh, you know, whether it's uh, fire, EMS, police, you know, folks needing to get uh, south of Dewey Beach and, you know, north of, of Bethany and Fenwick, uh, that area, you know, we, we want to make sure that that critical corridor is maintained. In the lull between high tides, Denrec and Deldot have been hard at work, using that window to try and put a makeshift fix in place before sunrise. But Grossman wants to see a permanent solution. It's amazing that um, just this little bit, you know, can stir up... Uh, that side of the road for some reason there's there's something going on in that area um, it's been happening most of the summer i talked to one local who told coast tv this has been an ongoing issue and he believes it is far from over i'm kevin to at the indian river inlet coast tv news at least two people are dead after powerful storms moved throughout the northeast on monday the severe thunderstorms caused Deadly flash flooding in Connecticut and New York. That's where roads were turned into rivers. Cars were submerged in fast rising waters. Water rescues took place on Long Island and in Connecticut. Heavy rain pounded New York and Connecticut overnight. Several roads were washed away. According to authorities, two women died after they were swept away from their vehicles in flood waters. That was on Sunday in Oxford, Connecticut. Check out this video here. This is a massive tire fire that started over the weekend in Jackson, Mississippi and is still burning. Fire broke out Saturday at the Mississippi Tire Recycling Building. About 10 units responded to the scene when the fire began. Firefighters are working four hour shifts to allow them to get some rest as the fire continues to burn. There was a water main break Sunday night and that meant the firefighters had to use water from their trucks instead of the hydrants. That main was fixed. Firefighters there and now back to using the hydrant as their main water source. You're looking live now at Chicago. Day two of the Democratic National Convention. Day one saw some of the party's most prominent figures give speeches, and that included President Biden. Biden capped the first night of the convention to a grateful crowd. He took to the stage late Monday night to more than four minutes of applause. Signs reading, We Love You, Joe, displayed throughout the arena. 
And in his address, Biden ran through the highlights of his presidency. Last month, he made the decision from his North Shore's home to end his re-election bid. And on Monday, Biden gave his support once again to Vice President Harris. The most diverse cabinet in history, including the first black woman in South Asian descent to serve as vice president. And will soon serve as the 47th president of the United States. Well, earlier on Monday, Republican vice presidential nominee J.D. Vance took part in a campaign event in Philadelphia. And in his speech, Vance focused heavily on Vice President Harris and her record on the economy. Let's just take stock of the economic record of Kamala Harris. Electricity is up 30 percent. Food, that's right, food is up more than 20 percent. Gasoline is up 50 percent. And this is all because of the policies of Kamala Harris. And Pennsylvania is considered a big battleground state. Vance will make a campaign stop in Pittsburgh later in the week. The online application for recreational marijuana businesses in Delaware is now underway. The Office of the Marijuana Commissioner tells us over 120 licenses are up for grabs, but the office is expecting 500 applicants. Licenses will be broken up into categories, including manufacturing, cultivation, and retail. And all the qualified applicants will be entered into a lottery. If you're thinking of applying, you will need a comprehensive business plan and also plans for safety and security. And the application period opened two weeks ahead of schedule. It closes September 30th. Happening tonight, a focus on open spaces in Milton. The town's Parks and Recreation Committee could decide to send its plan to town council for approval. Part of this plan is taking an inventory of parks like Memorial Park here and other open spaces, as well as the conditions of these areas. Town officials say the op ultimate goal is the preservation of all open spaces. A lot more news to get to in this final half hour. Don't go anywhere. Coming up, fresh food for school fixes. How to liven up lunches for children as they head back to class. Also, late inning bus for birds. How the Orioles let a game end their division lead slip away. And Street Solutions, the latest moves in Lewis to beautify a new subdivision. Stay with us on Coast TV News today. Hot tub, hot tub, hot tub. Millions of dollars of factory direct 2024 inventory. Final day. With Comico Civic Center. Hundreds of hot tubs and swim spas ready for immediate delivery. Factory direct prices. Many models to choose from. Come see the revolutionary swim spa and save thousands. Trade-ins welcome. We'll even haul away your old hot tub. 18-month interest-free financing. New 2024 inventory. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. With Comico Civic Center. Free admission. Free parking. Call 855-SPA-SALE. Join us for Fur and Field Day on September 7th at the Humane Society of Lycomico County. Enjoy competition, outdoor fun, food, vendors, and adoptable animals. Gather your team of 8 to 12 people for just $20 per person. Participate in fun games, water activities, face painting, live music, and more. Don't miss out on this exciting day. Visit WycomicoHumane.org for more info. Coast Country Cares, sponsored by Spicer Brothers. When choosing windows and doors for your home, at Pella, it's your choice. We manufacture maintenance-free vinyl, fiberglass, and wood-clad windows and patio doors, all with lifetime warranties. High performance, energy efficient, and loaded with options to help make your house your home. Industry-first features and benefits make living easier and increase your home's value. Visit our Experience Center or call us today to schedule your free in-home consultation where we bring the showroom to you. Feeling the summer sizzle? Is it turning your home into a sauna? At FH Fur, we know you can't wait when your AC is down for the count. That's why we're offering same-day service, guaranteed. If we don't make it to you the very same day, you won't pay a diagnostic or dispatch fee, plain and simple. So whether your AC is blowing hot air, your thermostat is on the fritz, or your entire system needs replacing, an FH Fur expert technician will bring your comfort back today. 877-GOLFER-FHFUR.COM 
There's a beautiful shot of Ocean City from our Gateway Subaru cam. Folks uh, taking an early morning stroll on that cool sand. 67 degrees currently in Ocean City. We're seeing a dew point of 61. Winds anywhere from 10 to 20 miles an hour. Plenty of sunshine through your morning, and we'll see a temperature of around 68 by around 10 this morning. Elsewhere, we're at 63 in Georgetown, 64 Lewis, 65 in Rehoboth Beach. There's those winds gusting along the coast anywhere from 10 to 20 miles an hour. Keep in mind the UV index today is a nine, so burn rates coming in at 20 minutes. So pack on the sunscreen, even though the temperatures are only going to be in those mid 70s. Well, Matt, I've been working on my <laughs> golf game here since I last filled in for Bob, and we are going to see a temperature of 76 this afternoon, mostly sunny skies, a breezy afternoon. So a good day on the courses, and we're going to have some nice golfing weather here over the course of that seven day forecast. And I'll provide that seven day forecast here in just a few minutes. Last time I was with Bob, his putting was terrible, so that was pretty good there, Chris. We move on. We got developing news out of Lewis. The Parks and Recreation Commission is considering recommendations for a proposed new townhome subdivision. This will be on Savannah Road. The commission is looking at what beautification efforts should be included in the plans, like street trees and open space in the area. Lewis business owner David Jones says the addition of these homes can benefit the town and scenery in the area. It's going to be more people coming to town, more people dining, uh, more people visiting, uh, you know, regular coffee shops and clothing stores, and it's just a win-win situation. And the property is currently zoned for residential. Delmarva Sports Network from the Wawa Studios. Good morning, sports fans, and for those of you O's fans who went to bed early, it was a wild finish last night in Queens. Bottom one, Baltimore. They saw enough of this guy in Boston. Former Red Sox J.D. Martinez goes oppo for his 13th homer of the year. A two-run shot. It's 2 nothing Mets in the first. To the third. They didn't have this guy when J.D. was in Boston. How about Jackson Holiday? How do you do? Robs Martinez of a base hit. Take another look. The snow cone, the throw from a knee. Business as usual for the kid. Down four. New York's turn to flash the leather. Mark Vientos with the sliding stop on Eloy Jimenez. The O's leave two aboard, still two zip Mets in the fourth. Home half, runners on the corners. Tyrone Taylor serves that pitch into left for an RBI single. And it was looking bleak for Baltimore until the seventh after an RBI ground out and then a balk to score a run. Ramon Urias unloads. 423 feet to left center and Baltimore comes all the way back to tie it. We cue the one Republic. All that's David Peterson can do is stop and stare. It would then stay 3-3, headed to the bottom of the ninth. Mets catcher Francisco Alvarez. Green light, ball game. First walk-off homer of Alvarez's career. Baltimore drops a half game behind the Yankees. That's it for sports. Have a great day, everybody. Coming up, Delaware sunburn search. The high ranking the state has when it comes to sunburn concern. Well, if you had any hair issues over the last few days, as far as the humidity is concerned, no problem though. Today, we're going to be at that 50 to 53 dew point as temperatures continue to fall and the humidity doubles continue to fall. We'll talk about a comfortable seven day forecast when Coast TV News Today continues. Download the free Coast TV First Alert weather app today. Come home to Crawl Street Tavern, where everyone's a local. Home to the Crawl Daddy Light Craft Beer. Start your day off right with breakfast classics. Indulge in your favorite pub grub, amazing wings, and killer crab cakes. Live music every weekend. Located on Wicomico Street. Just steps away from the Ocean City Boardwalk. Open every day starting at 8 a.m. Our mission here at the Boardwalk Buddy Walk is simple, to create a community where people with Down syndrome or any other cognitive disorder can live, learn, work, and play. That's why every October, we invite family and friends to a full weekend of acceptance and inclusion in Rehoboth Beach. This year's event takes place on October 12th at 9 a.m. at the Rehoboth Beach Boardwalk and Bandstand. So come out to this year's Boardwalk Buddy Walk and Walk. For more info, go to BoardwalkBuddyWalk.com, sponsored by Coast TV. Turn your dreams of a perfect kitchen into reality with That Cabinet Store, where a dedicated team of designers will bring your vision to life. Whether it's traditional or European, kitchen design is our specialty. 
and we can get your fully customized kitchen cabinets installed in as little as four weeks, semi-custom in 10 days. And if you're looking for new countertops, we offer quality in-house fabricated countertops. Dream today, designs for tomorrow at That Cabinet Store. Located with Matt the Carpet Guy in Selbyville and Salisbury. Weather brought to you by Coastal Comfort Heating and Air Conditioning, dedicated to excellence in Delaware and Maryland. Thank you for calling Coastal Comfort. This is a complimentary call. A couple of years ago, I had my heat pumps replaced. Last night, I noticed one of them wasn't working right. Somebody was out here within a couple of hours, and it's working perfectly. But I was in the service industry for 33 years. Good service is something you can't find today. It very much is appreciated. Your, your crew is a good crew. It's really fine people are professional, and they're efficient. Coastal Comfort a Carrier Factory Authorized Dealer. Carrier, turn to the experts. Time is 6.44 on this Tuesday morning, and we're showing you a live look now at Rehoboth Beach. Look at that sunrise. How about that? What a great start to this Tuesday. And if you're visiting our area, I think the beaches are going to be a popular place to be, Chris. And they, without question, the good news is the rip current threat is slowly decreasing over the next few days, so that is a good sign. Temperatures, though, also decreasing some 5 to 10 degrees cooler than this time yesterday. More importantly, the humidity is continuing to drop as well. Temperatures right now, we are at 65, Rehoboth, 67 in Ocean City, 63 Georgetown, 61 in Milford, and 63 in Salisbury. As I mentioned, the dew points beginning to fall. When we see those 50 degree dew points, that's a sign of some comfortable air. Winds anywhere from 10 to as high as 20 miles an hour throughout the day today. And there's a live look in the lowest beautiful sunshine there, 64 degrees and a wind out of the northwest at about five miles an hour. So we are beginning to see those clouds thin out, especially to the west there across the eastern shore. High pressure building in and not a whole lot of activity going on across the uh, Great Lakes. Uh, the uh, Ohio Valley as well as the Mississippi Valleys and we are in for a nice dry stretch of weather. So if you're heading out of Delmarva today, you're looking pretty good as far as Philly is concerned. Uh, BWI, uh, DWI looking good as well. No major storms to contend with, so that is certainly a good sign. Muggy meter, well, we're not going to show much of this over the next few days because we are going to be in the comfy range, and that is certainly a good sign, making things nice and comfortable to be outdoors. Sunny, breezy afternoon, we'll see 75 for high in Lewis, 75 in Cambridge, 75 Chris Field, and 77 in Salisbury. There's those northwest winds throughout the afternoon, sunny skies overnight dipping into the low to mid 50s away from the coast, and we continue the sunshine into Wednesday. Thursday, mostly sunny skies, and then we'll gradually see those temperatures warm by week's end. Mostly sunny skies through Chicoteague and Assateague over the next three days. As I mentioned, moderate risk of rip currents today, but we will see a lower risk tomorrow through the end of the week. We'll see 75 there, Ocean City, topping out at 78 Wednesday in Lewis, 75 there in Rehoboth. Well, we've been seeing anywhere from four to eight feet of wave action, all thanks to Ernesto, but that action is subsiding two to three feet today, and then we'll see lower waves by the end of the week. We're at 76 this afternoon, so long to the humidity, and we're saying hello to overnight lows in the 50s, so maybe give that air conditioning a rest for the next few days. 75 for your Wednesday, wall-to-wall -wall sunshine, and there's a look at the temperature outlook over the next six to 10 above average temperatures for much of the eastern half of the country and we stay relatively dry throughout that time span August 25th through the 29th. Your Paul Davis seven day shows temperatures getting back up to average around the weekend. We are back into the 80s and there's the return of the 90 degree temperatures by Monday. Just gave us an update on the riptide conditions. The tropical storm activity, it's churning up tide conditions in the Atlantic Ocean. On Monday, the Ocean City Beach Patrol says it made 78 rescues. The patrol is on the beaches 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. during its season. It's a season that it's got about a month to go. It ends September 22nd, and they warn swimming when lifeguards are off duty. That is dangerous. In addition to those waters, this time of year on our beaches, sun poisoning is another concern. And according to a new study conducted by Casino Reviser, Delaware ranks fourth overall when it comes to searching online for information about sunburns, blisters, sun poisoning, and sun rash. And some of the other keywords getting a lot of run on Google, how to treat sunburn, third degree sunburn, and home remedies for sunburn. Now this is data that is weighted. It searches per 100,000 people. And the only three states to finish ahead of Delaware, 
perhaps some obvious ones here. Hawaii, Florida, South Carolina, you know, one of the worst sunburns I ever got. Some time on the beach in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. A Maryland man facing charges after an incident at the Fish Festival in Dover on August 16th. Delaware State Police, a 26-year-old William Usurps from Chestertown assaulted two EMTs while under the influence. And he reportedly punched one of those. Get this, he bit another while they were trying to help him. Both EMTs suffered minor injuries and after being treated at the hospital, Ersperch was charged with assault and offensive touching and later released on $3,000 secured bond. We have new video today that was posted by the city of Salisbury from their national night out event with the Salisbury police earlier this month. This all took place back on August 6th. And as you can see here, it looks like they had a lot of fun that day. McGruff the crime dog made an appearance. 100 bicycles were given away to kids and more than 2,000 hot dogs were served. How about that? The goal of the National Night Out is to project is to engage community building, promote police community partnerships, and to make neighborhoods feel safer and more caring. It's now 649 this morning. Time to check in with our coastal pet of the day. And boy, we've been seeing sunshine all over the place. How about this sunshine right now? That is Teddy in that sunshine. Teddy enjoying the sunset actually on his porch after a long day of being Get this, he's the most loved dog in his family. I wonder if there's more than one dog in the family. Teddy was submitted to us by Tricia and Harbison. And we want to see more of your pets on Delmarva. Send us photos. Tell us what makes them so special. On your screen, there's a QR code at the top. That way you can submit your furry friend to Coast TV News and then watch weekdays from 5 to 7 a.m. to see all the pets we feature. Well, we've been dealing with that high rip current threat at the coast over the last few days. We're at a moderate risk today, so seas beginning to calm anywhere from two to three feet. Temperature of 75 degrees under mostly sunny skies. We'll have a look at that 10 day forecast next. Enjoy the season, taste the flavors, support the farmers. Shop the Berlin Farmers Market. Reconnect with the cycles of nature and your community. With a wide variety of produce and provisions, discovering the taste of small town charm never felt so good. The Berlin Farmers Market, Sundays from 9 to 1. What could you do with your new Amish tradesman pole building? A garage, workshop, pool house, office, in-law suite, or just a big old toy box. The Amish Tradesman provides some free custom 3D design to reflect your vision built with Amish quality. For nearly 20 years, our Amish crew continues to operate in Southern Delaware where we live, work, and worship. Call us today to set up your free design consultation at 302-349-5550 or get inspired online at theamishtradesman.com. Ocean City Jeep Fest, Coast Country, and Coast TV present live in concert August 24th. It's going to be Jason Michael Carroll and Sam Grow. Openers Blake Wood and Rich LaFleur. It's a night of music with songs and stories at OC Performing Arts Center. This concert is to benefit St. Jude Children's Hospital. Brought to you by Kicker, Joe's Jeep Jungle, Trail 7, Berlin IG Burton Jeep, and Livewire Media Events. Don't miss this show and get your tickets now at eTix.com. August 24th, doors open at 7 p.m. You rip and tear your old statements and bills, but thieves use this information to steal your identity. Don't be a victim. Get the ID Police, the new ink roller that encrypts all your old documents. So before you throw it out, just roll it on and your information is gone, both on the front and through the back. Even if the paper is held up to the light, even your medical information is safe with the ID Police. So block it out before you throw it out. Order now and get your ID police for as low as $9.99 and get free shipping too. This offer is not available on Amazon, so call or click now to get your ID police for as low as $9.99 with free shipping. Order now. Call 1-800-803-0512, that's 1-800-803-0512, or visit getidpolice.com. So call 1-800-803-0512 now. Enjoy the season, taste the flavors, support the farmers. Shop the Berlin Farmers Market. Reconnect with the cycles of nature and your community. With a wide variety of produce and provisions, discovering the taste of small town charm never felt so good. The Berlin Farmers Market, Sundays from 9 to 1. 6.53 a.m. and time for things you need to know before you go. Work on a breach of the sand dunes near the Indian River Inlet Bridge. That breach occurred Sunday night and it forced that area of coastal highway to close for several hours. 
This is at the Delaware Seashore State Park and in the lull between high tides, Denrec and Delot, they've been hard at work using that window to try and put a makeshift fix in place. More than a dozen people and one dog were rescued from a flooded restaurant in nearby home in Connecticut on Sunday. This is the video we just got from that. Firefighters rescued the people from the Brookside Inn restaurant and from an adjacent home. A crew was staged near the restaurant when it was reported that the flood water was rising and there were concerns about the restaurant's structure being compromised with 18 people inside. Firefighters helped all the people walk up the aerial ladder. Online application for recreational marijuana businesses in Delaware now underway. The Office of the Marijuana Commissioner tells us over 120 licenses are up for grabs and the office is expecting to get about 500 applications. The licenses will be broken into categories including manufacturing, cultivation and retail. All the qualified applicants will be entered into a lottery and that application period opened up two weeks ahead of schedule. It closes on September 30th. Travel advisory has been issued this week in Ocean City. This is related to the OC Air Show. You can expect heavy traffic delays in the downtown area and some road closures. It takes effect on August 23rd. 12th through 20th Street will be closed and barricaded off. And that's going to last through Sunday the 25th. Also, a few roads will stay closed into Monday. Today is the second day of the Democratic National Convention in Chicago. On Monday night, President Biden capped the first night of the convention to a grateful crowd. He took to the stage late Monday night to more than four minutes of applause. Signs reading, We Love You, Joe, were displayed throughout the arena. And in his address, Biden ran through the highlights of his presidency. Last month, he made the decision from his North Shore's home to end his reelection bid. Squeeze in some time for lemonade today because it's National Lemonade Day. It is that cool, refreshing drink. The day is actually a whole campaign to teach kids about the power of entrepreneurship through opening a lemonade stand. The overall goal is to instill an entrepreneur's spirit in kids at an early age and to help them succeed in the future. 6.55 now on this Tuesday, and we bring back First Alert meteorologist Chris Mastrobono. Lemonade, whatever the beverage is, boy, today is just going to be a great day to be outside. Maybe have that cool drink. Maybe have that cool drink on the beach. That, that could be a good idea, Chris. That's a great idea because we're going to see plenty of sunshine and very comfortable to be outdoors. With the dew point dropping into the 50s, it's going to make it for very comfortable conditions over the next few days. Ocean view, we see temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. Now, that car is a little grimy and looking at good washing weather over the next few days. Wax and all, wax it up there, wax that car nice and shiny because we're going to see some shiny and sunny conditions over the next few days. In fact, that 10 day forecast shows 76 this afternoon. We drop into the low to mid 50s tonight. So maybe open the windows up, give the air conditioning a break over the next few days because we're going to see low humidity over the next five days. 75 on Wednesday. We're at 78 on Thursday. Now by Friday in the weekend, we're back up into the 80s and the weekend itself looking very nice, but more average like temperatures for this time of year. But you see what's right behind me, the return of 90 degree days. We've been pretty spoiled this August. We haven't seen much in the way of heat and humidity as far as 90 degree days are concerned, but towards the tail end of that uh, 10 day forecast, some of the models sitting at potentially another heat wave there by the end of that forecast. So uh, I'll tell you what, man, enjoy these uh, this next week because it's going to be very nice. All right, thanks, Chris. I did notice Wednesday, I'm going to mention it tomorrow if that sticks. You got the Joe Nichols Sunny in 75, one of my favorite country songs. All right, thank you for joining us here for Coast TV News Today. The Today Show is coming up next. That's at 7 a.m. And then we'll be back here with Coast TV News Midday at 11 a.m., so stick with us. And for even more news and coverage you can count on, download our Coast TV News and Weather apps. Have a great Tuesday morning, everybody.